wild boars were among the most revered animals in the Celtic culture and religion of Britain, Ireland and Europe. The Druids believed the boar's strength, fierceness, and fertility were omens of their mystical connection to the other world. Warriors were impressed by the fearlessness and courage of boars during hunting expeditions. Their razor-sharp tusks, stocky build and ability to run at high speed made them formidable enemies when cornered in woodlands. Wild boars were also associated with fertility because of the numerous offspring they sire. Sows can give birth to several litters a year with up to seven piglets in each litter. Farmers often buried the remains of boars and sacred animals in their fields after public and private rituals. The otherworldly spirits of sacred animals nurtured the fruitfulness of the earth. Marcus and Bacco were prominent boar gods in Gaul during the Iron Age and Gallo-Roman era. Marcus, meaning swine or pig in Gaulish, was a deity of boars, fertility, and boar hunters. The cult of Marcus flourished among the tribe of the Lingwans in the Haute Marne region of northeastern France. They worshipped Marcus in the shape of a wild boar. Scholars believe the statue of a pagan deity with a boar carved across his chest at Euphigniax, Haute Marne, was a representation of the Gallic god, Marcus, in the 1st century BC. A votive inscription on an altar at Langres solicited the goodwill of Mercury Marcus in the Roman era. The Oppidum at Andamatunum, or Langres, was the capital of the Lingwans in the late Iron Age. The Romans paired Marcus with Mercury, the Roman god of trade, travelers, and the underworld. Mercury transformed into a deity of agriculture and the land during the Gallo-Roman era. The Adui paid homage to Bacco as a god of wild boars and fertility on an inscription at chalon sur saone in eastern France. Julius Caesar described the Oppidum of Cabalonum, or present-day chalon sur saone as a prominent settlement of the Adui in the mid-first century BC. A devotee also dedicated a votive inscription to Bacco at Oz in southern France. Wild boars were familiar symbols of war, hunting, magic and the otherworld in the Celtic territories. Warrior cults adopted the icons of boars to invoke the divine protection of the deities of war and hunting. A bronze ornament adorned with boar tusks was among the grave goods of a nobleman at Hunberg in Germany. The artifact was dated to the 6th century BC. A boar's head embellished a soldier's helmet and a carnix, or war trumpet, on the Gundestrup cauldron. Four carnices with boar heads were buried beneath a Gallo-Roman temple at Tintignac in southern France. The carnices were the sacred objects of a god of war worshipped at the temple in the 1st century BC. The boar's head embellished a carnix at Deskford in northern Scotland during the 1st century BC. The carnix was ritually deposited in a peat bog as a valuable offering to a Celtic deity. The Witham shield was a votive offering to a deity of the river Witham at Lincolnshire in England during the 4th century BC. The long-legged boar in the center of the shield may have been a totem of Marcus. The Remi worshipped Camulos as a tribal god of war between the Iron Age and the Gallo-Roman era. The Romans equated Camulos to Mars, their god of war. Camulos was depicted as a mighty warrior deity who wielded an invisible sword. The sacred animal of his cult was the wild boar. The cult of Camulos flourished in France, Belgium, the Netherlands and Germany. The Remi dedicated temples to Mars Camulos, at their capital in Duro Corderum, or present-day Reims, in the 2nd century AD. They also honored Camulos with motifs of wild boars on their coins. Devotees paid homage to Mars Camulus on votive inscriptions at Arlon and Cruachutern in Belgium. The Belgi tribes of northern Gaul introduced the cult of Camulos to Britain. The Catavalani tribe in southern England maintained close ties with their kinsmen in Gaul. Camulo Dunan, the capital of Catavalani, means, the fortress of Camulos. A boar figurine dating to the late 1st century BC was among the grave goods of Tashio Venus, king of the Catavalani, 
at the Lexton Tumulus in Colchester, England. Cunobelin, the son and heir of Tashio Venus, ruled over the Catavellani between 9 AD and 40 AD. He minted coins with the motifs of boars early in his reign. The Romans transformed the capital of the Catavellani at Camulodunan into the town of Camulodunum in the mid-first century AD. Camulodunum is now known as the city of Colchester. A member of the Belavasai tribe dedicated a plaque to Mars Camulus at Southwark in London between the 1st and 2nd centuries AD. The boar was a familiar symbol of masculinity and male virility in the Celtic territories. Wild boars were the sacred animals of Sinanos, the god of forests, fertility, wild animals, and rebirth. Their spirit strengthened the power of Cernunnos as the divine guardian of male animals and their virility. A carving of a boar was among the wild animals surrounding Cernunnos on a panel of the Gundestrup cauldron. A carving of a boar was included in a frieze beneath a relief of Cernunnos at the Gallo-Roman sanctuary of Les Bollards in eastern France. The Treveri, Nervii and Remi were among the Gaulish tribes who revered Arduina as a goddess of hunters, wild boars and animal fertility. The Romans equated Arduina to Diana, the Roman goddess of hunting, wild animals, and the moon. Arduina, meaning goddess of the wooded heights, was the divine guardian and namesake of the Ardennes forest. The Ardennes forest encompassed present-day Belgium, Luxembourg, northeastern France and parts of Germany. A bronze sculpture depicted Arduina as a young huntress riding side saddle on a wild boar in the 1st century AD. The boar personified the benevolent, untamed spirit of the goddess in the vast ancient woodland. The wild boar motif appeared on the coins of the Treveri at Teitelberg in Luxembourg during the 1st century BC. The boar symbol probably alluded to their worship of the goddess Arduina. The Coriel Tavi in eastern England adopted the iconography of wild boars to honor their tribal deities. Their large territory spanned Lincolnshire, Nottinghamshire, Leicestershire, and parts of Yorkshire. The boar symbol appeared on their coinage in the 1st century BC. Two miniature bronze figurines of wild boars at Rothwell Top and Great Stetton in Lincolnshire served as talismans during the 1st century BC. The Celts at Hunberg in Germany placed a bronze ornament embellished with two boar tusks in the grave of a noblewoman in the 6th century BC. The boar tusks protected her soul during their passage to the underworld. The Roman historian, Tacitus, recounted the Esti tribe believed wild boars were sacred to the mother goddess in the 1st century AD. The Esti wore amulets made from boars. He explained, this serves as armor, and as a universal defense, rendering the votary of the goddess safe even amidst enemies. Archaeologists found boar figurines at Iron Age settlements in Britain and Europe. The Celts treated the boar images as sacred objects at Teitelberg in Luxembourg, Mosching in Germany, Lonkani in Romania, Tabor in Bohemia and Bata in Hungary. Small statues of boars dating to the 1st century BC were discovered in the Hounslow Horde in Middlesex, and at Mir in Somerset. Images of wild boars adorned the Romano-Celtic temples and shrines of Gaul during the Roman era. Three large bronze figurines of boars were among a horde of thirty Gallo-Roman statues at Nouvien-Soulias in north-central France. Archaeologists assumed the statues were the sacred objects of a temple between the 1st centuries BC and AD. A bronze plaque of a boar known as the Muntham Boar embellished a Romano Celtic shrine at Finden in West Sussex. Another figure of a boar was also found nearby at North Farm in Washington. Celtic legends described wild boars as magical creatures of the other world. Twerch Trwyth was a ferocious, supernatural boar in Welsh mythology. Accounts of the tale claimed Torch Trwyth was once a wicked king who was changed into a wild boar as a punishment for his sins. The four branches of the Mabinogi in Wales recounted Aran, the dark lord of the underworld, presented a herd of enchanted wild pigs as a gift to Pridery, the son of Poole. 
Another story recounted Prittery and his companions encountering a white boar while hunting in a forest. They followed the boar until it ran into a mysterious castle. Prittery ignored the warnings of his companions and entered the castle. He discovered a golden bowl near a fountain. The hero lifted the vessel but found his hand stuck to the sides and unable to speak or move a single muscle. Tuan Mac Carroll was a famous fillet and shapeshifter in Irish mythology. He told St. Patrick of the many events he witnessed in Ireland over two thousand years. Tuan Mac Carroll lived for centuries in the form of a wild boar, stag, eagle, and salmon. The Celts were fascinated by the mystical aura of wild boars. The courage, strength, and virility of boars affirmed their status as sacred animals of the gods and goddesses in the other world. Devotees believed the motifs of wild boars were infused with the divine power of the deities. The boar symbol safeguarded them from physical and supernatural harm in the mortal realm. Legends of Love in Celtic Mythology on WordPress discusses the Celtic gods and goddesses worshipped in Britain, Ireland, and Europe. Green Man, Gods of Sacred Trees and Forests on Amazon narrates the significance of the woodland deities revered in the Celtic territories.